Hello there, WS Mama Reader's Nook. And tonight I have something new to show you that is at least new to me. It may not be new to some of you, but it is a wireless touchpad mini keyboard. And as you can see, it matches exactly with the exception of the little bit of white on the buttons. This is what it looks like. It's actually really lightweight. Like there's hardly, um, anything to it <clears throat> but this is what you get it's a full keyboard as you can see it's got the entire the QWERTY the entire keyboard it's got function keys uh, control alt shift caps all of that and then these up here I believe because this can play your TV and things like that I do believe that's what these might be for so I have not tried this yet. This is supposed to be able to connect to many different devices. And here is actually showing you ones that you can put with it, which a uh, smartphone, Android TV box, um, a tablet, an Xbox, or of course a smart TV. And um, so I'm going to try it with an old cell phone, an old older smartphone that I have. So um, this is what it comes with. It comes with this cable here. And what you are supposed to do. Okay. It says to insert it into the USB cable. So I was thinking that it had a USB area on it, but I'm not seeing that. So, yeah, I'm not seeing that. So I'm trying to figure out, because of course, most of your phones only have the mini USB and that's all this has to hook it up to. I don't have anywhere to hook up the regular USB which is right here. So that's going to be a little bit difficult. It says slide the receiver out from the side of the keyboard and insert to the devices. Okay, so let's see, side of the keyboard. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. There it is. Okay. So slide the receiver out. Okay. So there is the USB. Insert to the devices with a standard USB interface. But this still doesn't allow me to connect it to a smartphone, which is kind of strange because it said it does connect to a standard smartphone. So I'm going to have to try to figure this one out. But there's definitely, there's a USB cable, a USB. I'm just trying to figure out how that would work. receiver inside so I don't know I'm gonna have to look some more at this see if I can figure it out um, anyways what I will do is I will go ahead and post this video and this kind of gives you an overview of what it's about um, and then I will try to see if I can find a way to get it to work with something that I have but as you can see these are the directions right here so to connect the receiver um, auto sleep and wake feature switching off the keyboard charging it does have lithium-ion batteries so you are going to want to be careful it gives you like the safety safety things right here like don't turn it off on planes um, don't take it into hospitals, things like that. You know, anything that you wouldn't do normally with a lithium ion battery. So you want to be careful with that. Um, has a low voltage alarm. Uh, let's see. Technical parameters. So, 
let's see. Do not attempt to disassemble. So I am going to try something really quickly here. I'm doing this one-handed, so forgive me. Okay, so let's see. Let's hook this into my USB back here. Okay, so it's oh, it turned on. Hang on, I gotta get it back over here. Oh, there it is. There's the lights. Okay, so it's plugged into my computer. Uh, now, once connected, slide the power switch to the on position. So that was on the top. So flip this to on. Okay. Play to switch on will flash lights and then the lights go out on the keyboard. Hmm. The distance between the receiver and the keyboard should be less than 10 meters. Okay. All right. So actually, looking at my computer screen now, nothing actually happened on my computer. I was kind of thinking maybe something would, but it hasn't. So let's see here. Just try to push in some buttons and see if we can. Nothing. So I'm wondering, because I have a, a keyboard already plugged in, if maybe that's the problem, which it could be. So for now, we will just go with this. But you've seen it turn on. So this is what you're supposed to do with it. Um, so you connect the USB cable to the top here, the mini USB cable, sorry, to the top up here. And you connect the regular USB cable to whatever you're using it with and you should be able to operate it remotely. Now, I'm guessing that, thinking about it, on the other side, when I looked at the, uh, found that other receiver on the inside, that that is the wireless receiver, so that since this cord is shorter, this would be for something if you had it close to your computer. You can use the other receiver, I'm assuming, like if you're sitting on the couch watching TV or whatever, and you want to use this to guide your TV, that that is the one that you would use. So it's like a, it's like a dongle for a keyboard, wireless keyboard or a wireless uh, anything else. So that should be it. It does give you a listing of functions. Like here's what the functions do. And so it has good instructions with it. It's a little confusing at first if you're not tech savvy, which I'm fairly tech savvy, but not when it comes to these kind of things. So this is a new one for me, but I thought this would be kind of cool because I like to try new things. So this is, I think it's called Anuish, Anuish T16 Wireless Touchpad Mini Keyboard. So. If you're looking for something that is compact and easy to use, easy to plug in to your computer, your uh, smartphone, anything like that, I would highly suggest that you, uh, you definitely check this out because it's kind of cool. This is the keypad up in, not the keypad, but this is the mouse pad up in here. 
And then obviously, as you can see, here's the like rewind button and play, pause, all of that. Um, mute, I see a mute button there. And then over here, this looks like it might be for reading or scrolling through the internet because it's got page up, page down, refresh. Um, that looks like it might be a browser button, a search button, a home button. So I'm thinking that this could be used for a lot of different things. And I am definitely going to check it out. And once I do figure it out, I will post another video showing even more things that you can do with it once I figure it out. So for now, check it out on Amazon and check out my review of it on wsmamareadersnook.blogspot.com and have a great night. Thank you.